Hi again, here we are to continue talking about Xcode and table views and uh, this to-do app we're making. And in the last video, we, you know, we set up our to-do list in the uh, table view here, and we can see the cells show up on the screen, right? And what I'd like to do in this video is I'd like to set up a couple view controllers to help us um, navigate through the app, right? So here's our table view there with a couple to-do items on it. And uh, right now we're just using one view controller. So we've just got this one view here. Now let me go into the size here and make this a little bit smaller so I have a little more screen real estate. And what I'd like to do now is I'd like to create a view that will allow us to add a new to-do item. So it won't add a new item yet, but we just want to be able to navigate to that view first. So I'll grab a view controller here. I'm just going to grab a regular UI view controller and drag it out onto the screen. And I'll resize this one to give myself a little more space here. And uh, maybe this view will it'll have a label up here. And it'll say, you know, add new to do, okay? And then maybe we'll make the text a little bit bigger and uh, center align there. Um, I'm going to resize this and reposition it here. And then, you know, whenever you create a to-do, the to-dos each have a name, right? So maybe we'll use a text field here to add a name. Okay. And, you know, maybe whenever you're done, you know, adding this new to-do item, you're going to tap a button here, and this button will say done. Okay. So there's our, there's our, our view. Maybe we'll add a couple constraints to make this uh, fit any screen, right? So I'll add a, um, you know, a leading space trailing space, vertical spacing, and then maybe I'll update the frames on that to make sure it's right. And then we'll do the same thing here, maybe a leading space, trailing space, vertical spacing, and then maybe do the same thing with the button here. This guy actually, you know, he's not going to reach all the way to the edges. So um, maybe we will uh, do horizontal center and container. And then do uh, vertical space here. Yeah, there we go, right? So we got a couple constraints that should work for now. And so how are we going to go from this view controller to the other one? So first of all, um, we'll need a navigation controller, okay? Um, we actually don't need the navigation controller for this, but we'll need it for the next view controller that we add. So I'm going to select my first view controller with the table view, and I'm going to choose Editor Embed in Navigation Controller. And this will give us a navigation controller here, and it will link it to this first view controller with a relationship segue. Okay, maybe I'll resize this one to move it over here. Okay, so, uh, so now we've got our view controller, and it, the view controller comes with this, this um, you know, uh, navigation bar on the top here. And I'm going to add a button to the upper right corner there. So let me scroll down on the objects here. And the one that I want is the bar button item. Okay, and this, these are buttons specifically made to go on the nav bar. So I'll put an item there. And I'll select the options here. And I want to make this an add. So when you, when you click on this button, it's an add button. And it'll take us to this controller. Okay. And then maybe we'll control drag from the button to this new view controller here. And what we want to do is we're going to do a present modally. And I'm going to do both. I'm going to do a show 
a segue and a present modally segue. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna choose present modally, and um, what that's going to do is it's going to create a transition where this slides up in front of the current view from the bottom. Okay, so a modal transition is saying that um, you know you know, here's a question or here's something that you're going to do without leaving your current page or current, you know, content. It's going to ask you a question and then, you know, when it goes away, it's going to slide down and then reveal, you know, where you're at. So you pretty much, you're not navigating to a new location. You're just kind of asking a question at the current location. So in our case, you know, whenever we add a new to-do, we don't re really want to leave the list. We're just going to say, hey, what's the new to-do you want to add? And then we're, we'll add it and it'll slide down and we'll be back out of, uh, um, you know, back at our original starting place, right? So uh, we'll, we'll give that a quick test. And when I tap the button, you can see it slides up. And right now the done button doesn't do anything and there's no way to get out of here, right? So that kind of works, but it slides up from the bottom, so that's correct. So how do we how do we get rid of this this controller. So here's what we're going to do. Um, let me move that a little bit. Um, we're going to make a new Swift file to act as the code for this um, for this view. Okay, so I'll choose Command N to make a new file. I'll choose iOS Source, um, Cocoa Touch Class, and then I'll click Next. And I'll call this, um, let's make sure it's a subclass of UI view controller. So if you don't see that, start typing UI view controller. And then up here, let's call this add to do view controller. And then we'll save this file in our project folder. And now we need to, you know, connect this new add to do view controller with the file here. So we'll go to storyboard, select this view, go to the, um, what's that again? It's that, oh yeah, the identity inspector. And then here where it says class, start typing add, right? And you'll, you should see add to do view controller. And so just hit return to make sure it recognizes that. And then there you go, you're all set. Okay, so what I want to do next is I want to create an IB action for this button, for the done button, in our new view controller file. So I'll option click on the view controller file, and that will open it in the assistant editor. And that way I can see the two views side by side here. Right, so I've got the storyboard over here and the um, view controller file on the other side, right? So now I'll, I'll control click or right click and drag from, make sure you don't click, like if you click on this, you'd, you'd be creating a link to the uh, to the constraint and we don't want that. Make sure you click on the button. Okay, so there we go, we got the button. And we'll drag over here and we'll set the connection type to action and the name to um, done button tapped or you know anything you like really and there we go right so I'm going to set this type to UI button this actually doesn't really affect us here but uh, I don't know I'll just match it up so you know this is a UI button right so I'll click connect and there we've got an action so this should say you know done button tapped and it should say UI button if you accidentally clicked on the constraint it might say you know UI view constraint or something right so then you'd have to delete that and, and do it again. Um, anyway, so there's our done button. And to make the done button dismiss the view controller, what we're going to do is this. I'm actually going to switch out of the assistant editor and just show this, this one full screen, the add to do view controller again. So here, this is the same file, but we're just seeing it full screen. So um, over here, what we're going to do is we're going to say self.dismiss view controller animated. Okay. So we're going to say self dismiss view controller animated. And if you have a modal view that's being displayed, if this is a modal view, then it will dismiss itself. Okay. This animated flag allows you to say that, they, that when the view goes away, should it animate or not animate? I'm going to say true, and that will animate the process of removing the view. 
and then I'll type in nil as the completion handler. You can type a block there if you have some code that you want to execute when you dismiss the view. Um, I'm just going to put nil for now. Okay, so let's give it a test. So we'll we'll hit uh, play. And it'll load up. And then I'll click the plus button, and there's our view. And when I click done, it goes away, right? So there we go. Everything's working. So uh, so there you go, right? So that's how we work with, uh, with a modal view, okay? Um, we'll add another view in the next video, and it will be a detail view. So imagine you tap on one of these cells, and then we go to a detail view, and it gives us more information about the, the to-do item or whatever it is, right? Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, and I hope that's useful.